impressions vanity, just the top. So I'm just gonna build that. That is what I'm gonna be doing. Okay guys, so I thought my vanity, the whole vanity was here. It is not, but I just wanna let you guys know. I did this all by myself. Oh my God, I'm so freaking happy. You have no idea the last one that I had in Jersey. I built it and I ruined it and did it backwards and upside down and I can't even tell you that there's kind of like little things that are like, you know, noticeable that I didn't build it right. So for me building it right, I'm so excited. It's the smallest thing. To the floor, stir it up now, right till the morning comes. We're gonna bang that drum. Well, welcome, Bellas, to my beautiful, beautiful closet tour. This has been long in the making. I made one, but in all honesty, it wasn't. A Bella bougie enough. I think that this <sighs> this closet deserves deserves a big bougie moment. Cheer! All right. If you're interested in this closet tour and you want to see the ins and outs of this closet of De Bella bougie, let's go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an overall, and in that overall, then I'm gonna show you what is in my drawers, in my closets, and all that stuff. Here is the overall. It's just so beautiful. And like my island, I have a champagne bar. It's just so beautiful. And my vanity. Get the boring part done okay so when you walk in my door here is my door to my beautiful closet I have my um, body suits from Victoria's Secret semi annual sale that is down below I'm gonna shut this shut this door if you see my dogs say hello okay so in this closet right here this is my messy closet this is the closet that nobody nobody needs to know about but I'm going to show you because I'm nosy and I want to know what's in people's closets as well as yeah, I'm sure the reason why you turned in because you want to see what's in my closet so I kind of want to see what's in this so it happens okay so this is the non-aesthetically pleasing closet this is where the clothes do not match my closet go in here let's go up top <laughs> it's so ugly which I'm actually going to fix that right now so up here is my hats, box of moo. Um, I have my suitcases up there. That yellow ba uh, bag right there is actually baby clothes. No, I am not pregnant. My brother and sister-in-law are having their first baby. But here are all my jean jackets that I have. I have my Lululemons. Yes, they do match, but I will show you why I moved them. And then I have my 50 million on a well sweatshirt. And then the clothes that do not just fit the aesthetic. Underneath that, I have my shoes. They were all my hats, my sneakers. My gym sneakers are actually in my master bedroom closet, which you will see a updated house tour shortly. My sandals, my boots back there, and then over here is my storage bin. So honestly, the most boring closet ever. And then in the corner, you have my Chanel boots. You have my um, Ted Baker sneakers. My first ever Lauren. That was my first big girl purchase. And then I have a Louis. And then here is my mirror with the Chanel on top. This is actually my wedding veil, so this just needs to always be displayed. Up, you have the boxes of Chanel. Down here, you have my blazers. So my blazers, as you can see, they are color organized. You have from black, to blues, cream, browns, creams, and pinks. This, I spent all last night trying to figure it out how to organize it properly. So this is what I decided to do. My Lululemon jackets were in here, but it just didn't go with the, I guess, theme of these jackets. So I have all of my 
pullover, some sweaters, a lot of my tweed. We all know I'm a tweed baby. I love my tweed. Um, I have uh, some sweaters in here. Most of these are from Shein, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yes, and then underneath, underneath I have the Louis that I got from Blanca. It's really cute. I just, I don't, like, I wore it pretty much two times, but I'm ready to sell it. So, um, if you guys are interested in any of these items that I say I'm able to sell or want to sell, please DM me on Instagram. It's right here. And state what you want. So down here you have these Shein booties that I got. I never wore them, but I will wear them. And then you have my sandals, my heels. So have my Louis um, vanity case. This was on my bucket list. This was my dream. Beautiful flats. These are, uh, most of them, I'm not going to lie, are from Shein, um, Steve Madden, or what have you. I just think in here, such I'm such a flat girl, Lee. So like, I feel like I needed, I needed this to be displayed. And it's only like the cute ones. Then in this drawer, I have all of my makeup um, and crossbodies and fanny packs. This is my favorite, but the zipper is like ready to break, so it's like, ugh, I have to go get that fixed. My mom <laughs> bought me my first ever coach. But yeah, I have a lot of, um, you know, crossbodies, a lot of makeup cases. All oh, these are from uh, TJ Maxx. This is, I mean, Shein, this is from TJ Maxx. This is SL Miss Glam. You have Juicy Couture, just obsession. The second drawer down, or technically the third, if you're counting the flats, are more of my makeup cases. And more of my crossbodies. I had to organize this better. And then I have, you know, these items. So I need to do a dip clutter because this is like, this is as organized as I'm going to get, to be honest with you. Then down here are my colorful, beautiful pants. And I have my jeans and then the swishy kinds. My black dress and then my linen or whatever they're, they're called, the tan ones. Then the bottom drawer is, I can even like, I have to move everything. Then the bottom drawer is my sweatshirts. These are not all of my sweatshirts. I'm telling you, these are not all of my sweatshirts. That is up there is my Chanel with my Chanel booties that I had to get for Rodeo Drive. Here is my wedding collection. That is my wedding perfume and my wedding shoes. I am still obsessed with these shoes and I wish I could wear these all the time. To be honest with you, I totally can. I just don't want to ruin them because they are, I got them custom made for the wedding. Here is my favorite. This is my favorite section of my club. We have my brand new Louis bag, but over here, I have my luxury, beautiful Chanel um, perfumes. Yes, I do have that TJ Maxx there. I understand. It just went with the colors and I wanted it. I have my Gucci box from my, my bracelets. I have this beautiful bow to accentuate the pearls up there. I have my beautiful lady with my um, inherited pearl necklace this is by far the best necklace i have ever owned and i'm very blessed that it came down the ranks of family so appreciate that i have all of my my books i have chanel chanel louis dior and valentino so in this drawer right here i'm going to kind of zoom you in in a little bit Okay, so this drawer right here is my jewelry drawer. And here is what it looks like. I have my designer inspired, my designer, pearls, the extra knickknacks. Back here, I have all of my big pieces. This is so stunning. And then I have more 
of the big purchases, well, purchases, the big um, earrings. These are so beautiful. If you saw my Shein haul or Timu haul, this is from Timu. This looks like Swarovski crystals. Like, it's just stunning. This was actually my wedding bracelet. It should, sorry about the dogs. I did some changing. Um, I clearly, clearly had way too much jewelry. So I actually moved the jewelry drawer into a bigger slide. And I just think that it looks so much better. Um, I just love the aesthetic of it up here, to be honest with you, because that's my wedding area. So yeah, it kind of looks better. Okay. So then this drawer right here is my belts. This is actually my extra jewelry, my phone cases. This was my wedding bag. Again, that should be up there, but it's fine. Then here I have like cell phone accessories. In here I have wallets, Victoria's Secret, um, pouch, but in here. These things. Then the second drawer is my sunglasses. I have my Gucci's. I just love these Gucci's. Oh, I love them. My Louise, you always see me wear, so I'm not even gonna show you them. This is my Burberry. They're just so classy and perfect. I got my Chanel. These I bought on Rodeo Drive. It says Chanel up top. Just so beautiful. My newest Chanel sunglass purchase. I don't wear these a lot. I don't know why. I really need to because they're just so classy with the diamonds on. Can you see the diamonds? The diamonds on the top, they are dirty because I did wear them, but I'm just saying like. Back here are just like my Amazon. Um, yes, this kind of looks like the Louis that I do have, but my Amazon ones the drawer that I'm going to change to my hats because this is just my junk drawer and I down here I have my Victoria's Secret and Shein bathing suits and then on this one I have all my buff bunny bathing suits I have my Chanel bags I have long sleeves and t-shirts over here relatively new and all authentic bags back there is Ted Baker Louis Vuitton, a Jimmy Choo, my Chanel, the YSL, another YSL, another YSL, and all of the perfumes that just didn't take the, the gold showcase, but still is absolutely everything. These three drawers are just buff bunny. So I have buff bunny bras galore, literally galore. I just am obsessed with Buff Bunny. Down here are leggings and like pants and shorts and crossbodies and bags that um, she did have. And then here are t-shirts and sweatshirts and sweatpants. Behind my island, you will see it, but I have my Barbie Vans, my Pickleball, another Vans, and then my slippers. So it's kind of like hidden away and I kind of appreciate that. I have my beautiful Dr. Pepper hanging up. Over here I have my Chanel bags and all of my tank tops. Here I have this Chanel, which again, it is fake. This was actually, um, one of my friends, it's small, so I don't have really much purpose of it. I mean, it's beautiful and it's so classy looking. So this is also what I could be selling if you guys are interested. I have my Shein shoes. I got this beautiful Hermes inspired bag from Amazon. It's just so pretty. I have this blue Louis, which if you guys are interested, you can totally want to purchase this you can this is what it looks like inside and then it's nice and spacious it's just the only thing i don't i love this bag the only thing i don't like is the strip the like the the strap is not long enough yes i probably could buy another strap but this girl's just lazy then i got these shoes that i never wore my steve madden under here i had to cover up this spot because this spot was actually my louis card holder I have the 
Tori and Birch. I have the BCBG Best Shoes Ever. I have these Louis shoes. These are a size 39. Yes, I am willing to sell these as well. I have these Louis Vuitton ones. These are not real. This is a size 39 as well. I am willing to sell them if you are interested. I have my uh, Steve Madden. I have these shoes. I don't know why. I oh, I bought these just for like a pajama set. Yes, I wear pajama sets outside. I also have um, this Pochette, absolutely darling. Down here, I have all of my beautiful flats that just go with every outfit I own. Here, I have all of my vans, not all of them, but most of my vans. All of my t-shirts, it's like hard to like move out. I have skirts and shorts over here. These are my workout clothes that like are not buff bunny. Here I have sweatpants and pajamas and a falling hat. <laughs> and then my pajama sets, but let's be honest, I am a millennial and I do not wear these. I just wear baggy sweatpants and a non-matching shirt. So a champagne bar over here. Here are all my dresses and sweatshirts that I actually wear, the stuff I actually wear. So this is all here. My first ever Babe Cave closet purchase was Ted Baker, but that was from the other house, so this was like a display piece. I have all of my Chanel necklaces, my other Chanel necklace, you can see my back in the background. You have candles, my Chanel books, those... Oh, okay. I guess that went out. Alright. Um, and then I have my favorite shoe. <laughs> And then my purse filling drawer. So anything that I want to put in my purse will be here. And this one is all of my hair ties and all of my bobby pins and clips. Down below are all my bows. This used to be beautiful where you could see everything and then I just like started throwing everything. And then down here is all of my electronic things. I just threw in that laptop in there, so. And this, it gives you this. <laughs> so it's my sprays, tanning lotion, lotion, my self-care bands, headbands. This is my self-care uh, facial um, stuff like creams and makeup remover and all that. In that little box is all of my hot tools. Here is all of my hair products as well as that one. All right, so now let's continue on to the vanity. Um, this is exactly where I get ready. Hello, hi, I hope you guys are really loving and enjoying this closet tour and I guess you would say glam room because this is where I actually get ready. So let me show you my beautiful vanity. Yes, I understand these queens are getting rid of impressions vanity, but let me just tell you, there is no better vanity for this room but to have this grand lighting, this just I mean, like, I just sit here and my whole closet is behind me. And this is exactly what I want and what I need. And I'm obsessed with everything. But let's get started and show you what I have on this van. van. So in this is my Paris Hilton refrigerator. But in here... No, I don't have Dr. Pepper. I wish. I have all of my skincare. I have one skincare that should be in here that's not in here. I have my lip patches, my eye patches, and everything. These are my pens. This is the brush that I got from TJ Maxx for Christmas, like, long ago. And then I found this mirror for seven flippin' dollars, and it's huge. So, um, I have the 
Viral Chanel, I have Miss Dior Chanel, Miss Dior, I have Xena, I have my Gucci, my Clips, these are where I put my brushes clearly. Up here I have my Gucci and YSL, this is the Chanel that should be in the fridge but it's not. My wedding day perfume that was gifted from my friend, beautiful champagne. I have my, y my YSL, I have my Gucci little tower over here, some glow recipe. I have Dior, YSL, Givenchy. When I opened this, I bought this Christian Dior, my Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton lipstick, thinking that it was actually lipstick and it's just the holder. So maybe one day, one day I will get that, but to this day I'm not buying it because I'm actually mad about it. In here are my Chanel masterpieces. Oh, I just love Chanel. Oh, I love Chanel. I have my makeup brushes that I use for TikTok. I have my Chanel Dior, Givenchy, my Essay Lauder. My summer Fridays are literally everything. Here is a mess, but this is my, this is gross. Here is my everyday products. The top two drawers are my everyday products. So this is all the brushes that I use that are aesthetically pleasing to film. And plus I love these so, so much. I have my, in here, you cannot make this pretty. I'm sorry. There's nothing that you can do to make eyeshadows pretty. Not eyeshadows, eyelashes pretty. Here I have some tools that are extra. These are my face brushes that are not aesthetically pleasing. Here are my lip glosses, lip liners, and lipstick. Here are my foundations, my blushes, primers is my drawer for my go-to um, eyeshadows. Holiday eyeshadows. So this is the updated vanity. I didn't want to get rid of my vanity because I'm overly obsessed with how the mirror is. So what I did was I took the glass that is on top and I just painted underneath white and it just gives it more of an aesthetic look. Okay, so that was my De Bella Bougie closet tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was actually fun filming it. I feel like I like kind of rushed, but I feel like I didn't. The movies in here and the items in here, they just mean so much to me. And I'm so thankful and blessed and I'm just manifesting my life and thanking God every day. But this is my closet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I don't know. I just hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please comment down below if you want any of these items. And email me or DM me on Instagram. Also follow me on TikTok. And also, please share this video. And But thank you guys so much. Continue supporting my channel. It's giving Xena and Zeus the best life ever. I'm actually shocked that they didn't come in here and be like, hello, it's me. It's my closet too. But anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday and cheers. Bye.